Hello, and welcome to the M3 Software Help System. The following video will demonstrate how to add measurement data annotation to the live video view. Before we begin, it is important to understand that the live video annotation mechanism is intended to be used in conjunction with the image archiving capability of the M3 software. Annotation added to the live video image will appear only for the period of time that the system is in annotation mode. A typical scenario for using video annotation would be to position the desired image within the field of view where the measured features are located, apply the desired annotation, and then archive the image containing this annotation. Once annotation mode is exited, all existing annotation will be cleared from the system. We will begin by measuring the features that we intend to annotate and archive. Press the pencil button found in the bottom toolbar, as seen here. The software is now in annotation mode as indicated by the coefficient selection list seen here along the right side of the live video window. Select the desired coefficient to be included within the annotation box graphic to be displayed on the live video image. The currently selected coefficients will be highlighted in blue. Select the name item to include the feature name within the feature annotation. Click and drag from the desired feature in the live video window that you would like to apply the annotation to. As you can see, the box annotation graphic is added to the live video window and will contain the selected feature coefficients. Coefficients can be added or removed from the existing annotation by selecting or deselecting the desired coefficient in the list to the right, as seen here. A single representative coefficient can also be applied, including a blueprint-like dimension line when selecting the auto item from the coefficient list. When using this auto function, only a single dimension is annotated at a time for the given feature, as seen here. Exit annotation mode by pressing the pencil button a second time or by switching views by pressing in another M3 viewport.